Welcome to part two of Civitai's official beginner's guide to AI art. In this video, we're going to go over the installation process of two programs. One is going to be much more beginner friendly. You've never touched AI before and you're new to just everything about it. That program is going to be Easy Diffusion. Now, this is a really great place to start, especially if you are working off of a Mac OS operating system. We're going to go through the installation of Easy Diffusion on both PC and Windows, as well as Mac OS. The second program is going to be Automatic 11.11, and this is definitely a little bit more intermediate. However, Automatic 11.11 is the program that you can really grow into all the way up until you're advanced enough for some of the more complicated node-based programs. It is important to note that Automatic 11.11 will only run locally on a Windows 10 or 11 operating system with an NVIDIA GPU graphics card. But for this video, that's enough talking. Let's jump right into the installation process over in the computer. So we are going to get started with the installation of Easy Diffusion 3.0. Now, what is Easy Diffusion? Easy Diffusion is an easy to install and use version of Stable Diffusion. And along with being a very easy installation, it comes with all the required software components that you need to run Stable Diffusion, plus its own user-friendly and powerful web interface. And this is all for free. It costs you nothing. Now, Easy Diffusion is also a great place to start because it has a version for PC as well as a version for Mac OS and Linux. We are going to cover the installation for the PC version as well as Mac OS. So without further ado, all of the links that are relevant will be in the description down below. First thing is we are going to come to easydiffusion.github.io and this is what we're going to be greeted with at the home page we're going to go ahead and click download we're going to find the version that we need here right now we are installing the windows version um important to note that the system requirements you either need windows 10 or 11 linux or a mac os operating system an nvidia graphics card preferably with four gigabytes or more of vram or an m1 or m2 mac but if you don't have a compatible graphics card, you can still use it with use CPU setting, but it will be very, very slow. However, it should still work. So keep that in mind. If you are on an Intel Mac, you're going to be in for a little bit of a wait. And you should have eight gigabytes of RAM at least and 20 gigs of free disk space. Now you don't need anything else. You don't need to install Docker, Conda, and this installer is gonna take care of everything for us. So we're gonna go ahead and click download for Windows. All right, now our download is complete. The instructions say run the download.exe file and run Easy Diffusion once the installation finishes. You can also start from your start menu or from your desktop if you create a shortcut. This will automatically install Easy Diffusion, set it up and start the interface. No additional steps are needed. So let's go ahead and open up the installer. We are going to bypass the Windows protection and click Run Anyway. We want to run anyway. All right, now we are here. Let's go ahead and click. Oh, we only need two of these open. Uh, yes. We're gonna go ahead and click next. All right, their license agreement. Boom, boom. Go ahead and select the destination. I'm good with it installing in my C drive at C slash easy diffusion. Install, and I'll let it do its thing.
All right, so now our download is finished and we can go ahead and create a desktop shortcut. I'm gonna hold off on that or we can just run Easy Diffusion. So we're going to go ahead and run it for the first time. It's gonna open up a command prompt and do its thing. It's definitely important to note that the first time you run all these programs or when you update them, they always take a minute to get started. We got Easy Diffusion completely installed on our PC. This is the starting page of the main interface that tells us to enter a prompt right away. We are going to stop this here and we're going to jump to installing it in the Mac and we will come back in the next video and start going through the interface and the folder structure. All right, so now we are going to get Easy Diffusion 3.0 installed on our Mac OS. There are a couple more steps that we have to do. So let's go ahead and walk through that together. So from the install page at easydiffusion.github.io, we're going to go ahead and click download for Mac OS. And our download is going to start. And now that that is downloaded. So it says extract the file with your favorite file manager. After extracting the .zip file, please open a terminal and go to the Easy Diffusion directory. Run in the terminal period slash start dot sh. All right, so let's walk through this together. First, we're gonna go ahead and unzip our file. Now that we have the Easy Diffusion folder unzipped, we're going to go ahead and right click the Easy Diffusion folder and click New Terminal at Folder. And this is going to open up the terminal in the Easy Diffusion folder. And now it says in terminal run dot, whoops, dot slash start dot sh. And it's going to go ahead and do its thing and download a bunch of stuff and start installing. All right, so as you can see, when Easy Diffusion finishes installing on Mac OS, it goes ahead and automatically opens in your browser. So we are greeted with the same homepage as we are on the PC version. And this is where we're gonna stop. In the next video, we're going to jump in to start using the software, organizing our resources, and how to get resources from places like civitai.com into our folders and organize our folder structure in a way that everything is easy to manage, as well as beginning to use the software. So it is important to remember that if you are using Easy Diffusion on Mac OS, after your initial install and it goes through that whole long downloading of everything in the terminal, every time you want to open it up or run it after that, um, it is not listed in your applications like a traditional Mac application. So you're simply going to go to the Easy Diffusion folder where you initially unzipped it. For me, that's just right here in my downloads folder. You're going to right click it. You're going to click new terminal at folder and you are simply going to type in dot slash start dot sh and then it is going to load everything up and after it finishes loading it is going to open up easy diffusion in your safari or google chrome or whatever your main browser is so that is the process for opening easy diffusion after you initially install it on Mac OS. All right, so we are going to jump into the installation for the automatic 1111 Stable Diffusion Web UI. Now, this is the most commonly used and most popular user interface for Stable Diffusion. We are going to be following the Windows Method 1 automatic installation from the Stable Diffusion Web UI GitHub. This link will be in the description of the video below. To run this, you will need a Windows 10 or 11 operating system as well as an NVIDIA-based graphics card. So step one, download the sd.webui.zip from this link right here. So we're gonna go here. I already have the SD Web UI zip downloaded, but you're gonna go ahead and click this sd.webui.zip file. 
it is going to download and we're going to go to that folder. Now, I am going to create a new folder in my download folder and call it Stable Diffusion Install Guide. You guys would just call it Stable Diffusion. I am going to go ahead, right click the web UI zip file and click Extract All. And we are going to select that folder that I just created in my download. So boom, we're going to extract everything right in there. Extract. Boom, perfect. I can go ahead and delete the zip file. We don't need that. So I'm going to keep this folder here in my downloads file since I already have an automatic 1111 um, install set up and this one is just for the sake of this tutorial but you can go ahead and put this in your C drive or in your program files wherever you feel the most comfortable accessing this folder on a regular basis now let's see what the next set of instructions for us are here if we go back one page extract the zip file at your desired location we did that Double click the update.bat to update web UI to the latest version, wait till finish, and then close the window. So it says we need to double click and run the update.bat. Go to more info when you get this message and click run anyway. Boom, your command prompt is going to pop up and it is going to start downloading and installing and updating things. We're going to go ahead and bring this window over to the side right here just so all of this is a little easier for us to monitor everything and access all of our folders here we're going to resize this press any key to continue let's go ahead and hit enter so now that that one is finished double click the run.bat to launch the web ui during the first launch, it will download a large amount of files. After everything has been downloaded and installed correctly, you should see a message running on local URL. So let's go ahead and double click the run.bat. Same thing, click more info, click run anyway. The command prompt is going to come up and it is going to take a minute because it's going to download a lot of files and models and all that good stuff that you need to be able to run Stable Diffusion and Automatic 1111. So we're probably gonna fast forward through this part of the video. At certain parts through this process of it downloading the models, it's going to, there's gonna be moments where it looks like it stops and text stops scrolling up. You're gonna wanna just wait, it will tell you when it's done and you're really just keeping an eye out for the message running on local URL and it'll give you this HTTP 127.0017860 message at the very bottom of your command prompt screen when the installation is actually finished and it's done downloading all the things it has to download. The very first time I did this, it took a really long time and every two minutes I was like is it done am I supposed to be doing something just have patience just wait it's gonna get you up and running all on its own all right so as you can see it is still downloading but the web UI has popped up already which probably means that we could go ahead and stop start prompting but we're going to wait for this to completely finish because it is still doing its thing it is all finished so this is the automatic 1111 web UI. So when this is done installing, this is going to automatically open up in your browser because automatic 1111 is run out of your web browser as are most of the stable diffusion user interfaces. Now, if we go ahead and we close this and we close this command prompt, right? And we minimize this. If we want to start up Stable Diffusion and Automatic 1111, we're just going to come into our Stable Diffusion folder, wherever you went ahead and set that up, and you're going to double click run.bat. That is going to start up the command prompt. It's gonna take a few seconds, gonna launch the web UI, and 
once it's done launching, boom, automatic 1111 will automatically open in your web browser and you are ready to start prompting. This has been the installation of Easy Diffusion 3.0 on Mac OS and PC, as well as automatic 1111 on Windows 10 and 11. In the next video, we're going to talk about managing resources, where to put files, how to set up your file management so that everything is easy to use and easy to find. And then we're going to get into prompting. So stay tuned. We'll see you in the next video. Civitai.com.